Through my observation, I've learned that society kills genius in five different ways. And I'm going to go through those five different ways here and right now. Number, Number one. one. Different equals a problem. Being different in present day society oftentimes equates to having a problem. If someone's disposition is deemed to be not normal, then we medicate him or her to be normalized. How many individuals have changed history who were normal? What is actually normal? What does normal mean? And does normal even exist? And does normal behavior kill innovation? I think so. Number, Number two. two. The dollar holds the highest priority. With the dollar holding the highest priority, the man or woman that is chasing cash could have instead chased an ideal to change the world. Money is not a bad thing. I just believe oftentimes individuals miss out on their true calling to chase money and fame. Number, Number three, three, Hollywood and entertainment determines much of the culture. Entertainers, no offense to them, are idolized and our kids believe looks, material things, and status is what life's all about. We instead should be encouraging our youth to exercise and build their intellect. Our world would be a more understanding and prosperous place if the progression of the mind came before entertainment. Number, Number four. four. Our school system is too systematic. Starting at the beginning of kindergarten, the school system is molding us to be part of the system. It cuts out most of our creativity and curiosity. Instead, we need to follow the procedures and not deviate from them. But innovation and world-changing ideals stem from creativity and curiosity. The best ideals have come from the most inquisitive individuals. Albert Einstein, Sir Isaac Newton, Frederick Douglass, Aristotle, just to name a few. Number, Number five, five, distractions. Our brains are constantly being distracted by technology, busyness, and pure entertainment. From cell phones to YouTube, present day we are indulging into more entertainment than ever before. In the past, there was more time we have to ourselves to dive into deep contemplation. Apparently, according to science, our IQs have steadily increased over time and we're smarter than ever before. Imagine if we can mix deep concentration with our newfound intelligence. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. If you want to subscribe, just hit the subscribe button down low. We'll have more videos of this nature coming soon. Thank you so much. Have a great day.